Hello, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am so excited. We are going to be unboxing my Chanel bag that I got from Paris. Um, I did get this at the original Chanel store, 21 Rue Cambon. I'll be giving you guys a little bit of a background on my shopping experience. Experience. I didn't really get to film or take many pictures inside the store, so I'll just be telling you guys kind of how it all went down, how I even got an appointment, all that good stuff. But before we get into all of that, be sure you take the time right now and subscribe. Also, be sure to hit the notification bell to get notified every time I post. I post new videos every Thursday and Saturday. And yeah. Let's get into the video. Also, I did do a Dior unboxing as well for my Paris trip, and I already have my little Dior box up and displayed. It was from their flagship store, and it has like the original Dior 30, the location of the original store on it. So, kind of segueing into our Chanel bag. This also has the original location on it that I actually went to. So the 31 Rue Campon, Paris, that is where Coco Chanel had her apartment above the store, above the boutique, and where she lived part of the time. So that is pretty cool in my opinion. It's a little bit of history. And the Chanel is the only Chanel in the world that will hand out white bags. Um, so that's something fun. So when I did get this iconic white bag, I did like stuff it in my suitcase and made sure that it came back with me to America, to California, and now I have it. It did unfortunately get like a little dirty um, in transit, but it's all right. It's a white bag. It's bound to happen. But just so, so cool and very iconic having the address, having the white bag, and just kind of like another little memory of my trip. All right, so how I even came to find myself in the Chanel boutique. So I had done a little bit of research online ahead of time and kind of watching other people's videos like this of shopping in Paris and shopping at the Chanel in Paris. And I realized that there is the opportunity to get an appointment at the store. And so I really, really wanted to get an appointment. I knew the time of year I was going, I was in like mid-March, isn't really the biggest touristy time of year. And I was gonna be there like weekdays, like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So it's not like a weekend where shopping is more prominent or there's more people out. So I kind of already felt like I had a good setup a good time to get into the store. I know that for Chanel, different from other designer stores like Hermes, that one, you really are relying on that appointment if you wanna get your bag. But for Chanel, I didn't feel as much of this sense of urgency for an appointment, but once I got there, I was actually really glad that I had an appointment because my appointment ended up being at 10 a.m., which was right when the store opened, and there was like, a good amount of people who ended up being in the store after I had come in. So there wasn't like a line or anything out front. Um, when I had gone to Chanel in Australia, in Sydney, there was a good line out front of the Chanel store for most of the time that we were there. So I don't know if it was just because Again, it was an off season, there's not many tourists, maybe people are at work, there wasn't a line at the Chanel. Also, just a side note, there's always a huge line at the Chanel by my house, so I just knew that Chanel can sometimes bring a line, so I definitely really wanted that appointment, and I had been stalking the appointment website for months. Like, I knew when I booked this trip, I wanted that appointment, so I had been stalking the website for months and months and I realized that the appointments really only came about really closely to when your date was that you wanted to make the appointment. So they really didn't go very far out. It was pretty much same week would be when the appointments became available because I was ready like back in November, I'm gonna make my appointment for March and like the March calendar was not even available. Like the January calendar wasn't even available. So. Just something to keep in mind if you do want to get like a really big head start that isn't really necessarily how it works. And even as I was getting closer to my date, it's not like the whole month opened up. I was noticing in February, which was my like crunch time of trying to find an appointment, it really was the week of or even like day of, day before that the appointment would come up or there'd even be availability. So 
don't get discouraged if you are trying to look ahead of time. It really wasn't a thing for me to get a super in advanced appointment. So just being aware of that going into it. So I had already known that. And by the time I got to Paris, I was there. We were all settled in our hotel and everything. I had not gotten an appointment. I had not secured an appointment. And I was a little disappointed with that, but I had planned, okay, right when the store opened, I'm gonna go there. But the night before, I just decided, you know, why not? Let's just check, see if there's anything available. And there was, there was one appointment at 10 a.m., which was perfect timing. So I immediately booked that, and that's how I got my appointment. So yeah, definitely kind of a day before, week of kind of thing. Not something, unfortunately, that you can really plan for in advance. So anyways, got my appointment, and there are several Chanel stores in Paris. Like, a lot of Chanel stores in Paris, and I actually ended up going to the wrong Chanel store first. So I had gotten there kind of early. It was kind of funny. We were like waiting out front and saw them having their like sales meeting where the like store manager was talking to all the sales associates and just kind of like not watching, but kind of also watching. But I got in there early and I was like, hey, here's my appointment. And they're like, oh, this is for 31 Rue Cambon. You're on 19. And I was like, oh my goodness, like now I'm going to be late. But luckily they were actually really close to each other. So I just quickly went to the right store and then walked in, had my appointment and was good to go. No line. There was like one other person at the store at 19, but there wasn't any line at 31. But as I walked in, there was like already people in the store as well. So I don't know if they also had appointments or they had been waiting outside and now have been like five minutes and I was the next one coming in. I don't know, but there was already still people in the store. And as I was shopping around, as I was with my sales associate, I did notice that the store really did fill up. There still wasn't a line when we were leaving, but I was just surprised by actually how many people were in the store and that it seems like they were at max capacity in my opinion. Like there didn't seem like too, too many extra sales associates available but yeah so just just an overall note for that but i got to the store and i was really really set on getting some sort of tweed bag style so i really wanted tweed i felt like that was just very classic for chanel i do have a chanel jumbo flap in just like the black think caviar leather so i did want something different i loved the fabric idea and so that was kind of my focal point. I had originally kind of thought I wanted lighter fabrics, but then after seeing some of the selections and realizing that tweed fabric, getting it dirty if it's a light color probably isn't the best combination of things. So I quickly kind of shifted to looking at the darker tweed fabrics, but still something that has a little bit of color in it because I wanted it to be able to incorporate into like spring, summer, fall, winter, like all the seasons and I felt like a darker color but still with some vibrant colors in it would be like that perfect balance so that was kind of my focus it was fun they did offer us water coffee tea um we ended up getting just like water and tea afterwards though Jake did ask them for <laughs> champagne even though it was like 10 a.m and they were like it's 10 a.m no but I was kind of surprised like there was part of me that was like I don't know I, I feel like they could offer champagne at 10 a.m. But anyways, we did not get champagne. But while she was wrapping up the bag, we kind of walked around the store, looked at some of the costume jewelry, some of like the really nice jewelry that they had, and then some of their ready to wear items. So kind of got a good lay of the land. I felt like I really got to see a lot of the store while I was there, even though I was kind of focused on just finding a specific bag. But yeah, so that was my experience. My sister associate was super, super sweet. We walked over and saw the area where Coco Chanel's apartment was kind of like the staircase going up to it. I got a picture up there. She gave us some recommendations of a bakery to go to afterwards. So just a really, really great experience. And I thought it was so fun, so exciting to be in Paris and be in that store and just kind of have that experience. It was a little bit of history there. So yeah, anyways, now let's move in to the actual unboxing and you can see what I got. But hopefully those tips are helpful if you yourself are looking to go shopping at the Chanel in Paris. So, all right, now to the unboxing. All right, so here is Le Box. <laughs> the box is here and I feel like I say this all the time, but all of these like luxury boxes are like decorated so beautiful that you feel bad unboxing them, but we're gonna unbox this. So I'll go ahead and first take off the little 
flower on top if it lets me it's like stuck on here okay all right the flower has been taken off here's the box sans flower and i'll go ahead and open it up so so pretty and the box also has the address on it as well. White box with little Rue Campbell address. <sighs> so cool. This is definitely... I'll have to like rearrange some things because this is definitely going on my shelf too. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I literally, obviously, haven't opened this up since my trip, since I saw it in person. So... I'm like really excited right now. Okay. Um, so this has a little like magnetic flap closure on here very fancy and here is oh, the box so this has some Chanel tissue paper little Chanel sticker the bottom of the box is black love this white and black Chanel so chic I, again I really don't want to rip this sticker like I'm very carefully opening this So here it is. Eee! Wrap up. This bag is so pretty. Okay. I'm like having a moment, even though it's like still just wrapped. Um, there goes the strap. So I do have a dust bag in here. I will show you this stuff before actual. So it has a little black Chanel dust bag and then also, I don't even know what this is. this is, like a Chanel book going on here. I don't know, this like soft fabric pouch? It's like nothing in there. I'm not really sure what that's for. That's exciting. I don't think I've ever unboxed something and like <laughs> literally had no idea what this is. I need to watch more Chanel unboxings apparently is my, is my problem. And what is this? I want to say this is probably like maintenance care instructions. Yes, yeah, so this just has a little bit of history, some care instructions. So we're gonna put all that back. So I kind of want to film like a YouTube short unboxing, so I kind of want to like put this back nicely so I can fake it on there. But this is the legit unboxing. This is the real deal. I This is my first time opening it. So I'll go ahead and put this back. All right, so here it is wrapped up. As you can see, the chain is kind of coming out. Bag is so pretty. Okay. Um, again, trying not to rip the stickers. Oh, it is double wrapped. <laughs> There's an extra wrapping there. And there's the reveal. So cute. Oh my gosh. This bag is seriously so, so stinking cute. Okay. I forgot how much I loved the color combination on this one. Let me take off this last little sticker around and give you guys a full view, a full look at this bag. So this is the mini classic flap in tweed. Um, I was between getting a mini flap and a wallet on chain, but there was just so much more room in the mini flap. And also I loved how it had like the actual um, Chanel logo on here and the functional lock. The wallet on chain is just a button and just has the logo on it and it's not actually like the little locking feature. So I really love that about this one. So I'll go ahead and open it up. Here it is. So it is this black leather on the inside. Um, we got some more Chanel tissue paper in here. So you can see it. This is the inside of the bag and it's small, but mighty. <laughs> no, I feel like you can actually fit quite a lot in here. So just off the bat, showing you guys size-wise, like this is my cell phone. That is how it fits in there. And there's still so much room. You can definitely fit a sunglass case, like a little card hold wallet, your phone, keys, little items like that. I think it's just the perfect size. I do like having a mixed sizes of bags. Like I do love my big bags, my small bags. And what I liked most though about a smaller bag like this is that it really is an easy way to dress it up and dress it down. Like you can make this more of a night outlook versus like a bigger bag. It's kind of hard 
to bring it into a more formal look so I really like that aspect of the sizing again I was really really in it to the tweed I thought that was just such an iconic thing to get at the Chanel store because she's like the queen of tweed in my opinion and it's also like really on trend right now but also Again, for Chanel, very classic. And I love the chain strap on it. I think it's really cute and it gives that elegance to the look. And the coloring on this one, it's kind of like a navy blue. I'm like looking at it in the light. Like, is it black? Is it navy? It's like a really dark navy with this light blue, a pink and white going through it. And the lighter blue kind of has a little bit of sparkles to it um really really pretty the chain is also that like leather navy color and then the hardware on this is silver so the cc's is silver and then same with the metal on the chain which for me the metal is not that big of a deal i'm like notorious for mixing metals if you if you can't tell so really any metal that i get is gonna match what i got going on so not too too thoughtful on that i think the silver tone though goes really well because most of the bag colors is giving more like a cooler tone so i think the silver makes sense with it but yeah so this is my chanel bag that i got in paris at the iconic original chanel store this was such such a great memory and it's something that i'm literally gonna have forever yeah just like a physical memory of such a great experience if you are in Paris and you have been looking for a Chanel bag if that is on your list if you are ready to purchase I highly highly recommend going to the original store it is just such a cool experience and if you're gonna get the bag anyways like you might as well have it at the coolest place to ever purchase it and yeah so that's that's my little story um i hope these little tips and tricks on how to shop there get an appointment all of that was helpful for you guys if you enjoyed this style video little unboxing and review be sure to give it a big thumbs up give it a like share it with your friends and be sure to leave a comment down below what store would be your dream store to shop at either in paris or anywhere in the world i'm curious to hear what you guys think also i did film a full vlog of my shopping experience not just at chanel but at dior and then some places in brussels belgium so definitely check out that video after this one i also just have a full-on travel vlog coming out so if you haven't watched that one as well be on the lookout also like i said earlier did my little dior unboxing for my shopping trip so 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 much paris shopping content paris travel content be sure that you are subscribed you're getting a notification for every time i am uploading and yeah as always thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you all on the next one